has a facility that says, we want to invest in continuous monitoring solutions. We want to invest in ultrasound. What does that program look like after we've made that commitment? You know, does it involve getting like a single person, five people, 10 people on board? Typically, how do you guide your, your guys as customers after they've um, purchased a, a really expensive ultrasound system? Yeah. Well, first thing I'll say is the, the good thing about one nice thing about ultrasound is it's, it's not that expensive. Um, and with our continuous systems, um, our 20, our forecast, which is, you know, 24 seven bearing monitoring, um, you really just have to set aside one asset that you find super critical and it's four points, one box that, you know, you don't have to put in. Um, it's very scalable in that sense. You're not, you don't have to run sensors on an entire route. It's, you know, you can pick and choose which assets really require it. Um, what are the ones that are keeping you awake and would really cause heartache and, and headaches and massive, you know, money if they were to, to go down um, when you didn't want them to. So that's a really nice thing about ultrasound and with our equipment, it's not such a huge investment, but of course it still is an investment and it's still an investment of, of time and resources as well. So I think, you know, again, it's just making sure the the folks that are involved in maintenance, um, your, you know, plant managers, things like that are are on board with with putting these systems in place. And again, that you're reporting that that those wins and the, the saves back um, up the ladder uh, so that, again, you can get that support to continue doing what you're doing and to continue adding to it. So it just takes, you know, usually it just takes one champion um, and making sure that they they get everybody else on board. That's awesome. So again, what I what I heard is like, you know, prioritize critical assets, and maybe it's just a single one, then apply the continuous condition based monitoring using, you know, either, either ultrasound, whether it's vibration, whether, you know, different uh, condition based monitoring solutions, and mm -hmm. have that champion build the use case, then roll it out to the broader uh, organization in different assets yeah. within the plant. Um, I think that's a great yep. strategy. I think that's something that we commonly hear time and time again to be the most effective. Because if we go out asking for, you know, a hundred different assets to be fully monitored and the, the price is absolutely yeah. off the wall, um, right. that's a much more difficult sell than, hey, let's purchase one. Let me prove value. And if you, if it works, if I can show you the value of one, then, then I would, we would be in a position where we can roll it out to the, the other 99 assets that we have. Yeah. Yeah. But it's all about see that success. And you know, we would say like, how do you eat an elephant, right? One, one bite at a time. Um, and uh, same thing here. And I think, you know, people can get really bright eyed and, and really excited about um, these these systems and, and sensors and wanting to put sensors on everything and data, data, data. Um, and sometimes it's okay to just take a step back and, and say, okay, well, wait, let's let's not overwhelm ourselves because then then it could deter the program right there if, if you've got too much going on. So I think, you know, get those quick wins, build the business case and kind of build your program one step at a time. Um, I think it'll be a lot more successful that way.